Hi everyone, my name is Nico with the Cosmic Tower Project and welcome to this first video in the Cosmic Tower Science Series. The reason we created this series of videos is because a lot of people, and rightfully so, want to scientifically understand how the Cosmic Tower works. Now, the challenge with that is that most of us come from a mainstream science background and mainstream science simply is too limited or incorrect in a lot of cases to be able to explain things like the cosmic tower and other phenomena because it just excludes certain parts of our reality that that most of us experience and one of my challenge with with mainstream science is that we are being taught as if it's like that absolute truth, while in reality, these are mainly hypotheses, and some of these hypotheses have been contradicted by um, experiments and by, by certain observations. Still, mainstream science mainly sticks to, to this model and these hypotheses that they have, and this creates a sort of mental prison for us that makes it impossible to explain how things like the cosmic tower and many other phenomena in our reality actually work. And my beef with mainstream science is that they hide behind all these complex equations and terminology to give us the impression that it's the truth because simply it's too complicated for most of us. So we are like, oh yeah, these people are much smarter than us. And I just don't understand all these, these complex, thing, complex things while you know, for me, it's like because they really don't understand how things work, because if you're able to know and if you really know how something works, you should be able to explain it to a five year old. And for myself, on my journey through high school and university, science classes really left me unsatisfied because some simple questions simply could not be answered. When I asked my professor in university, tell me how? gravity works. They would give me formulas and equations and describe the effects, but they couldn't answer the question, tell me how it works. Another thing we were being told is that space is a vacuum, yet there are waves and vibrations traveling all the way to the earth. Well, how is that possible? How can you have a vibration if there's not a medium to vibrate? So I spent the last 20 plus years studying what I call like the hidden or the suppressed science. And I realized that there have been many scientists that have created models and explained how these things that um, mainstream science cannot explain how they actually work and, and demonstrated this through, through experiments. So I realized it wasn't so much about learning a lot of new things. It was really a journey of unlearning all the things that I'd been told that that, that simply aren't, aren't true. And we live in times now that you could consider the, the apocalypse, which is not about the end of the world, like in movies, but it's the crumbling of, of all the falsehoods of all the old world systems and an unfailing of, of, of the real truths that have been hidden for so long. That's why now you're seeing all these old establishments that enslave us, like banking, governments, medical establishments, religion, and maybe the biggest religion of them all, science, they're, they're crumbly and they will inevitably crash and burn. But what will emerge is the truth and our new things that will set us up for, for a much better, a, a new world. And this is a very deep subject, and I spend a lot of time on this, and I will do my best to explain how some of these things work, very well knowing that I'm still a novice at this, and I'm learning new things every day. So I'll do my best to simplify this at the risk of oversimplifying, which I per rather do than then overcomplicating things. So I'm going to share with you some of this hidden and suppressed science that's not merely hypothetical, but I'll also, you know, show you the experiments that, that back this up. And I don't take any credit for the sources, but only for putting this together, hopefully in a way that expands your mind and, and give, gives you gives you a glance of, of this. And I'd like to thank all these people like Tesla, Constantine Mile, Dr. Hans Yeni, Ibrahim Karim, Dan Winter, Robert Gilbert, and so many others, which I consider the true scientists of our age that have really dedicated their lives 
to creating a new kind of science that that breaks us out of the prison that's been created by mainstream science and these people that that share this with with all of us and my goal is really to open your mind to a much broader view of how our reality functions and do this in like bite-sized pieces so so you don't get overwhelmed and I will mention all the sources to you of what I will be presenting. So you can go do your own research. And I encourage you to, to be curious and, and to be playful and, and, and do your own research. So I've created some slides, which I'll be pulling up now to hopefully make it easier for you to, to follow along. All right, here we go. So if we look at um, modern science and medicine, it really, it's, it's reductionist, right? It's about breaking physical reality down to smaller and smaller and smaller pieces to then hopefully to unlock the secrets of the universe and, and our reality. And it really just focuses on, on, on physical uh, quantities. The other big challenge or the other big gap in mainstream science and, and medicine is that life force energy is considered not to exist. Only gross electromagnetic energies exist. Another thing that is included is the emotional, mental, and the spiritual aspects are they're completely ignored, even though we experience those on, on, a, on a daily basis. And then another big one is that Consciousness is completely excluded from science and, and, and from the from the equation. And to me, that's a really big gap because excluding consciousness from explaining how our reality functions, that's like trying to explain what a pool is, but excluding the water, right? So if we have a look at the ancient healing sciences, the ancient healing sciences they were holistic in nature and they considered all of the qualities of nature which affect living beings. They also talk about life force. They're all based in life force, which, you know, they have different terminologies for it, chi, ki, prana, ether, name it what you want. But the important thing is that life force was an integral aspect of ancient healing sciences and ancient science. And then they include also all the aspects of, of the human being and all the aspects of creation, the, not just the physical, but also the energetic, the emotional, the mental, and the spiritual plane. It's really important that we, that we take those into account. And consciousness is really an integral part of creation and is truly considered in, in the ancient sciences and in the ancient healing healing sciences. So if we go and look at the creation levels, if we look at traditional science, mainstream science, it really focuses on the realms that are slower than the speed of light, right? They focus on, on the physical plane, on the chemical processes, the Big Bang, they have the periodic table of elements uh, to, to describe how certain elements interact and what our reality or physical reality is made up of. And they're focused on electromagnetic, like physical matter. And then they talk about the subphysical, which is the electromagnetic dimension. Now, the, the problem with this is that this is such a small percentage of what makes up creation and, and our reality. And everything that is faster than the speed of light is you know, simply ignored, even though these phenomena are observed. Einstein would call it spooky uh, action at a distance, or they talk about quantum, um, quantum entanglement, but still science merely focuses on the slower than the speed of light realms. So we really have to expand this limited view of mainstream science, which only makes up small percentages of the total reality to understand our creation and to be able to, to affect it. And the model I'm using here that, that, that you're seeing was created by Dr. Ibrahim Karim, and he calls it the science of quality. And it expands what mainstream science 
uh, only considers to include all levels of creation. While science really starts from that physical and then drills down into the subphysical, into the, um, the electromagnetic realms, Dr. Kareem really expands it to the, also with the faster, to include the faster than the speed of light realms. And he talks about how really the life force travels from these much higher realms and then gets slowed down all the way to the speed of light. And there you then have the big bang and the physical and the, the sub-physical plane start to manifest. So life force really gets slowed down all the way from these higher realms and then moves through and animates physical matter. And then, you know, it gets decayed into the electromagnetic magnetic energy. And this is really a part of a complete system of planes of creation that is known to all classical healing systems. And not only has Dr. Kareem come up with this model, but he's been able to measure these faster than light realms and how to, you know, affect these faster than light realms. Because one of the important things we have to understand, just as the electromagnetic spectrum that's like this in the subphysical plane can affect physical processes. The same is for the faster than light, the subtle energy realm, the, the, the realm of light force, the life force, they are also able to, to, to change and to manipulate phys physical processes. So both the electromagnetic, the subphysical realm, and then the subtle energy, the faster than this the speed of light realm affect one of another. That's important to know because they both affect health and biological processes and specific electromagnetic and also in the subtle energy vibrational waves, they have precise biological effects which, which govern all physical manifestations and which can be measured. Uh, Dr. Kareem really uh, built out the the science of the physical radiesthesias from 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 the French schools, and he built upon it to to create this complete system that we will be using. So, other topics that we will be covering in next videos are we're going to be talk about the ether and how vibrations shape our world, and then we're going to talk about wave based transition of illnesses and through that we we have a new view of health we basically have waves of health and waves of illness and then we'll be talking about longitudinal compression waves and scalar waves we'll be talking about the toroidal flow the torus field we'll be talking about torsion fields and we'll also be talking about consciousness how really everything is conscious in our reality. And then we'll go through uh, the more subtle realms to, to understand more of those, how those realms functions. And we'll be talking about principles like resonance and, and harmonics. And then we'll be talking about EMF, of course. And we'll be doing that with the, with the EMF information model, which really gives us a much better understanding how non-native EMF affects us and what we can do that. And when we go through all these things, hopefully you can get a better understanding how the Cosmic Tower can do what it does. So thank you for watching this first video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.